How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Isaac Marangi. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And in this video, I just want to talk about what happened in quarter one of 2021 because we just have come to an end and what my personal stuff kind of happened in 2021. And I'm just going to get right into this video. So you can make sure you guys hit that like button and I'm just going to get right into it. To get into more of like stock related and finance related stuff, GameStop stock has shot up, skyrocketed all the way up to a thousand percent return since the beginning of the year and many people became millionaires over it and many people probably lost money over it because it shot up to like 300 and it came down again and then now it shot up again back up to around the hundred dollar range which is still over a thousand percent compared to what it was at the beginning of the year and if you've seen my previous videos i talked about bitcoin and bitcoin prices have shot up a hundred percent since the beginning of the year and it is actually being used more widely across multiple businesses and people are accepting it even tesla has invested like a one billion dollars into bitcoin and probably are still investing more into it and many people have accepted bitcoin as their payments for stuff and is being very widely used across many platforms and just this last week, we got a big container ship stuck in the Suez Canal and took days or almost a week to get unstuck. And it, because it was such a big ship, it got stuck and it kind of just got stuck right horizontally, taking up the whole path so no other ships could get by. So all the other ships had to go all the way around Africa to get to America or around to where they needed to go because they couldn't use the canal. And the man behind one of the most popular stocks in the past year, and that is Elon Musk, has actually become the richest man in the world. And in 2020, Elon Musk placed 35th in the overall ranking for the richest people alive. And Elon Musk reached the number one spot, taking down Jeff Bezos. So all those aside, I'm going to go into and talk about kind of what my goals are. I'm just going to go over and what kind of happened in my life in the first quarter and if and if I hit my goals that I projected to try to hit in the beginning of the year. And what I'm trying to do for this video is just to show you guys the journey of my life and trying to bring you guys along and especially starting at this point. And then hopefully once you guys see me in the future, you can look back at this point or you can remember me from watching this video at this point and seeing the major growth that has happened. So I'm just going to start off with my main goals that I completed and then I'm going to tell you guys the ones that I did not complete. In the late December last year, I was trying to read more books and then so I made a goal trying to read at least one book a month and I didn't want to make it more than that because try to like stress me out and think I had to read a ton and I already wanted to focus on the books and I actually surpassed that goal by doubling it because I found some books that I really liked enjoying reading. So I read double my reading goals and that was amazing and I've learned a lot from the books that I've read and if you didn't know that I put some of my books that I've read this past year right on this shelf right behind me and I have more that I've read because I've read a total of six books instead of the three books that I needed to do for the quarter. And then one of my biggest goals that I've made for this year is by working out consistently at least six days plus a week and even some weeks I completed this goal and overachieved this goal by doing seven workouts per week and I was so grateful that I did this. The next thing I wanted to do this year is kind of get more contact with real estate professionals because I want to get into real estate if you've already seen my other videos that I've kind of talked about real estate a little bit. I want to invest in real estate, I want to uh, flip houses so I wanted to talk to a little bit more real estate professionals and I've actually done that. I have talked to a real estate investor. I am in a bi-weekly meeting calls every Wednesday and I have been attending those and I will still continue to t attend those and I'll still continue to uh, try to meet new people in the real estate field to try to like grow my knowledge and try, try and get into the field and maybe even get my first rental property. The next goal that I accomplished was buying a car to flip and I kind of wanted to do this last year and I've been wanting to do this and thinking about it for a long time and I actually think I found a good deal that I should be able to make some money on and that is something that I am doing right now. I kind of bought the car uh, two months ago so it, should, it is almost ready to be sold and it has been taking a while because of the registration process. It has been delayed and then I had to do work on it and everything's been kind of delayed a little bit and it is my first flip so it's kind of just going slow but hopefully that I'll get that listed very soon like within the next week and then I'll get that sold and then I'll make a video on that for you guys so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and then hit the notification bell just right beside it just so you're notified when my videos come out and then you can see that video when it comes out. So those were the goals that I did complete and that I was so grateful that I did work towards those goals and complete those and maybe even overachieve on those goals but I'm going to give you guys some uh, things that I did not achieve and that I probably really need to work on more and should definitely try 
to accomplish these goals in the future. So I made a really high goal for my income and this was making $7,500 per quarter. So that's pretty high for me because I'm still in school so I still have to go to school and I don't really have time to spend time on working as much as I would if I didn't have school. So this was a really high goal but I really wanted to set it that high because I wanted to see what I could do if I really tried to work towards this goal. So my total earnings for this last quarter was $2,615.25 which is not even half of what I should have gotten. But what I'm thinking is in the next quarter or in during the summer is when I usually make a lot more money because I don't have school to attend and I can do my lawn care and do a lot of other things and the winter months are always kind of slow and I don't really do much in the winter anyway so that I was kind of expecting was in the first quarter that I wasn't going to make much but hopefully in this next quarter it starts picking up a lot and I start to bring in some more income. Another kind of income goal, but it was kind of like separately related, is what I wanted to make $1,000 just by flipping items. And I I did end up flipping a couch. I only made $120 on the couch flip, and that's the only flip that I did for the quarter. And that is way less than the 1000 But in this next quarter, like I said about the car flip, this should make me and it should surpass my goal of $1,000 per month. So then I can reinvest it back into something else I can flip. And then I also have other flips that I have from the previous year that I still have to sell. So in this next quarter, I should be able to sell those this next quarter and get those off my hands and get that income. All right, so let's talk about this next goal. And this next goal was about my subscriber goals. So if you are watching this and you are not subscribed, please subscribe because this is a goal that I did not complete. And this goal entailed to have at least 250 subscribers by the end of the quarter to reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. And right now, at this point of recording, I only have 85 subscribers. So if you're watching this, please subscribe to help me reach my goals. And that would be really glad to be appreciated. And I really thank everybody that has subscribed because I have gained a total of 18 subscribers since January, which is totally awesome. So I thank you guys so much. If you are not subscribed, just subscribe or just tell me down below in the comments why you won't. So my plan for the future going forward into the next quarter is that I'm going to be selling that car so I should be able to make an extra income off that and I've already talked about the other flips I have but my income should increase more because of my lawn care ability because we are getting into the time of yarn cleanups and then we'll get into mowing so hopefully we can get more customers and then we can get more cleanups because that will bring in way more income for the next quarter and the next month and that's what my plan is to do and I've also have actually connected with a real estate investor that I really plan on working with in the next week or two and I hopefully can actually make a deal go through and see if I can you know find him deal and whether it's just trying to find him deals and I don't make any money at first or whatever it is I really want to try to focus on doing that stuff because that'll increase my knowledge and maybe increase my ability to actually reach my $30,000 goal by the end of the year or even get my first rental property which would be amazing because I've been looking at that and that could actually be a possibility for me to try to figure out and do especially if I get someone that will partner with me up on buying a house because as you may know under 18 year olds really can't buy a house because you can't sign a contract. You can't really sign the legally binding contract because you're under 18 and you have to either have a co-signer or you have to be over the age of 18. Something that I also didn't complete and that was trying to post at least one video or two videos per week and I kind of slacked on this in the past month because I didn't post like any videos and I really don't really feel good about that one because I really wanted to focus on YouTube a lot but I just really didn't have the videos and I was getting so busy with my other stuff. I still have school and I really should just try to spend and make more time for YouTube and try to figure out what videos I should make for you guys to help you guys out because really when I first tried to make this channel, I really wanted to focus on more things like helping out kids like that people are under 18 and showing ways they can make money and how they can make a lot of money just like you can when you're over 18. But those videos really haven't come up to mind and uh, maybe if you guys have any ideas of what I should do, if you have any questions on what you should do with your finances under 18, maybe you should just leave those down in the comments and then maybe I can make a video about them and then answer all those questions. So just comment down below any questions or any ideas and that would be amazing for you to do that because I would love to help you guys out in any of your finances or uh, trying to help you guys out making money under 18. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I just wanted to do a quick little update for you guys about my life and my journey. So hope you guys hit that subscribe button to join my journey right now because right now it may kind of seem small, but once you see me later in life and if I'm still 
hopefully creating content and then you can look back at when you first subscribed into my channel and that was like right now and that'd be so cool if you guys did that so just hit that subscribe button hit that like button for this video to make it more available for more people to see and then i can reach my goal of a thousand subscribers for this year so make sure you guys do those things and then sign up for Yada savings if you have money that you can put aside and then you can earn all the way up to 10 million dollars for every $25, you get one ticket and use my code Isaac Maring. So go do that because I want you guys to be better financially and go learn about how to try to save your money and have fun with it. And I also made a previous video, which I'll put up in here in the card and I'll put it down in the link in my description about Yada Savings and kind of an overview of what it was. So make sure you guys go do that. And uh, that'll be it for today. I hope you guys have a great day or great night whenever you guys are watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.